Good morning and welcome to a, another art lesson. Okay, today we are going to be working on some exploding hearts. Okay, so you need to decide how many hearts you are going to have on your paper. The one that I have finished has three. I would say three or four is a pretty good amount, okay? Because if you do any more than that, your paper is gonna start to look a little crazy. So I would do three or four, and I'm gonna make them all different sizes. So this first heart is going to be like a good, like medium to large size. And this one is maybe a tad bit smaller, but not too much smaller. And if you wanna start with pencil, that's probably a good idea, just in case you make a mistake, then you can trace with a Sharpie. Okay. Once you have that done, you are done with your Sharpie, so I can put that away. Remember, if you don't have a Sharpie, you can just use a regular black marker. That's your choice. Once you have your hearts drawn, you can either use a marker or you can use a crayon to color in your hearts. So I'm just going to take my marker. I'm just going to very carefully color in my hearts. Taking my time, doing a nice neat job, coloring up and down or side to side. No white spots are showing through. There we go. And then I would pick a new color. And you're just gonna color all of the hearts in. That's the first step. And I'm just going to finish this one. I'll leave the other two white just so we can move on. But you are going to color all of yours in. Okay, so once you have your hearts colored in with marker or crayon, then you're going to do the exploding part. So you can see on this one, it looks like the hearts are kind of like radiating out. So I'm just going to pick two colors that I think are going to look really nice together. I'm just going to do this like magenta and this like orangey color. And when you do this, you just color around the heart. And it helps if you turn your paper at the same time. So that all of these lines are going in the same direction. So you're gonna do a lot of spinning with your paper. So I went one time around and then I'm gonna switch colors. I'm gonna do the same thing. Then those two colors are just gonna to blend together. And keep turning that paper. It's going to help. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to that first color again. And you're just going to repeat that over and over and over again. Now there is going to be a time where you run out of room. And that's okay, it can go off the page. And I'm just gonna stop there because you can see that my heart over here, I'm not gonna have enough room to add that first color. So I'm just gonna stop and I'm gonna add 
my fireworks for this part. So I'm gonna pick maybe like this purple color, maybe this blue color. I think that'll look nice. So I start the same way, coloring up and down. I'm just gonna turn my paper as I go. And it's going to run into that first heart that we colored, and that's okay. Things are going to overlap. Okay, next color. Keep going. And you can see that when I'm coloring, there's not a lot of white space between those colors. And then I'm going to stop right when I get to that first heart. And then I'm going to switch colors and do it again. Now, once you've done all of your hearts and there's no more room left on your paper, there's no more white spaces, then you can take a photo of your work upload it to Google Classroom, hold on to it until you receive a final grade because you might need to go back in and fix some things, so don't throw it away. And then upload it to your Google Classroom. Okay, so once you're done, you should end up with something that looks very similar to this project right here. If you have any questions, please just email me and reach out and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, have fun guys. I will talk to you soon.